What's up, guys? It's me, your badass ghost, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so you know, last episode, we did a few things, you know, went a few rounds, got a few other things, captured ourselves a new Pokemon, see if that works out for us. And, uh, well, it is finally time for us to go straight to the SSN, and yes, guys, you're not, you're not mistaken, yes, this is gonna be only the SSN. I know that I've been on a roll making a whole bunch of episodes about everything. So, talk to this guy. He's like, welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Yes, I do. I flashed a ticket. Great, welcome to the SSN. Let's get right, right to it. And here we have the SSN. I still don't know. I haven't done it. Actually, I haven't lost him on purposely just to get to it. But if there is a truck right here, comment down below, guys. And if you found the link to that, please show me. That way I can uh, I can see it for myself and all that stuff. Anywho, let's go straight to the SSN. Here we are. And we're going to talk to this guy. He's like, the passengers are restless from a long, or from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. Hmm. Okay. Let's go right ahead and uh, do that right here. Let's see. And this guy's a bored one. We always start with him first, I don't even know why. So, let's go right ahead and switch it out, and yes, off screen I did capture myself a drowsy. Not going to use him because, well, it's drowsy, come on guys. I am but a solitary traveler. My soul companions are, and my and friends are Pokemon, I call on my journeys. Hmm. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, taking on Gentleman Thomas, and he's gonna be coming out with his Growlithe, and as always, we're gonna be speeding it up because, well, yeah, this is a very, very big place. And we're gonna be... Wow, you're gonna be roaring this to death? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Confusion. For the win. See, Drowsy does uh, some work for us. Just a little bit on his lone appearance. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight to Leonardo. And here we go. Water gun. Water gun again. And there we go. Just like that, we win. And he wasn't too happy. All right, let's see what you got to say. You should be nice to friends. I should, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta be mean to them just to show them who's boss and all that stuff. I'm just playing. All right, let's see what we got here. Talk to this lady. She's like, "You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest?" Not yes. Okay, so now we know where to actually rest and all that crud. And if we go right here, we're gonna be battling this guy. He's gonna look at us from that afar. And you insolent pup! How did you barge in? You know how much spit came out of my mouth? Holy crud! <laughs> Anywho, gentlemen, Arthur wants the battle. He's coming with his Growlithe. All right, big mama smasher coming and about to body slam you. Look at that. And, well, let's continue on right here. Big mama smasher, body slam. Oh, wow. And her pup is a uh, big mama right there. And there we go. And just like that, we have defeated this guy. He's not too happy. He's like, I wish to be left alone. Get out. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's not happy. Okay, let's see. Who do we have here? Talk to this lady. Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. Okay. I'm not even going to come out with it, but it's because I have that hat on, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Talk to this guy. Bonjour, I am the waiter of this ship. I will be happy to serve you any uh, anything you please. Ah, this strong and solid type. Yes. French people, you got to love them. Talk to this guy. A world cruise is uh, so elegant yet cozy. And this girl right here is like, I always travel with my Wigglytuff. I never leave home without it. And here's Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff. You know, I thought of actually using Wigglytuff at some point, but I was like, I don't know. And here we have battles all over the place. I love Pokemon. Do you? I think I do. That's probably why I'm playing this game. And here we have youngster Tyler wanting to battle. And Big Mama Smasher paralyzing her pup right there. Okay. All right, let's go right ahead and uh, not do that. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with a Sparky. Yes, I know that we're close to evolving Tornado right here, but we kind of want to spread the love everywhere. Let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here, or this chick, I should say. Lassie Ann wants the battle, coming with her Pidgey. And we're going to Thundershock away and just like that we are well we're going oh well, actually you know what i'm going to take on this this need ramp female right here there we go and oh my god that was a that was a critical hit right there and we survived by the hair of her chinny chin chin 
We grow to level 20. Oh my god. And yes, Sparky's trying to learn Slam. And this Slam attack is 75 accuracy. Yeah, I'm not going to really do that. Even though it's a much more powerful attack. Yeah, not going to do that. So yes, she does not like that. Okay, so let's see what this item is. Found ourselves the TM31 Brick Break. It can come... Well, it is useful when we're taking on some Steel type or normal type Pokemon. And before we do anything, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Let's see. A Super Potion. And let's go straight for Sparky. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab a Tornado. See if it can get to the level 20 club right here. And let's see, let's talk to this guy. He's like, shh, I'm a global police agent. I'm on a trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. All right, so let's go right ahead and go straight into the SSN's uh, chef place. And if you go into these, uh, yeah, if you go into these trash cans, you're going to be finding some berries right here. Quite a few of them, uh, if I say so. And there we go. Let's see. There we go. Chester Berry. See, there's not a lot of berries out here, but yet you can still find this. And that is a great ball. And uh, God knows that we need some more. Let's go right ahead and move on to... Let's see. Let's go towards the other side of this place right here. And go downstairs. And battle some more trainers. Now, let's see what this trash can holds. Ah, we found a Hyper Potion. That's always nice. All right, bring it. Oh, wait. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Oh, well, cool. And we're grabbing into a super potion right here, which is always nice, too. Speaking of Machoke, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and battle these guys. Yes. You know what? Let's go normal speed while I talk about it, okay? So, speaking of uh, Machoke... Uh, I did say, okay, so let's see, how should I, how should I start this whole thing right here? <laughs> okay, here it is. So, over the holidays, uh, over the holiday season, or the Christmas season, the break that I had, taking on these guys and all that stuff, I did go back into Pokemon Fire Red, Ruby, Sapphire, that way I can start trading some Pokemon, because it was one thing that was stopping us from trading any kind of Pokemon, and that was, well, Draven has incomplete, you know, games. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, I did switch out my computer a while back when I got my, uh, when I got my, whatchamacallit, my, my studio and all that crud. Got the blue screen of death. That was not cool. And, um, so I, I was kind of forced into buying a gaming computer. And, you know, as many of you guys already know, I'm praising the crud out of this computer just because it's, you know, it's one of the best things that can I could ever invest in. With that being said, Lost all my memory, including the save games that I, you know, I did before, such as you know Pokemon Leaf Green and all that crud. And I had to go into playing these games again, and it was funny because that's kind of how I uh, I'm starting to remember a few things that I need to get before I go into it. Uh, you guys already know I'm scripting all these things, or I plan them ahead just in case we we battle all these guys. And look at that. Yes, your spirit sank me. But anywho. Like I was saying, guys, yeah, I do kind of, uh, I do kind of, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, wow, I need to talk to this guy. I, I do kind of write these things down before I go into the battle just to see what exactly it is I'm going to be doing in the first episode and all that crud. And, you know, replaying Leaf Green, Sapphire, and Ruby, it, it was very, very fun because now I'm able to trade wherever I want to go, except for Fire Red right now. We're not going to be trading anything in Ruby and Sapphire in this version just yet because we're not allowed to but going into emerald you will be seeing that stuff too so we're ahead of schedule uh one of the things that you guys are, will be seeing right here too is uh pokemon that you can't normally get right here in fire red i am i'm actually going to be doing an episode where i do trade those pokemon to this version and vice versa i think there is a list there's a list out there which I will be pulling out later on, and I'm going to see what Pokemon I need to switch here and there. That way we can actually have them both in our version. I think, you know, I think that, you know, eventually we're going to complete this Pokedex right here. Well, the initial decks and all that crud. The, the national decks, I should say. I feel, I feel like feisty kids like you. Hmm, or I like feisty kids like you. What the hell? Alright, here we go. 
taking on Dylan, and well, let's continue on right here. Let's see if you have anything of importance, nothing. And there we go. Level 19 Tornado. And Tornado's learning Pursuit. I already have a Dark type move that's much useful. Let's go ahead and switch out. Um, Pussy Boots. Bite. More bites. There we go. Continue on. But like I was saying, guys, um, yeah, there will be games that, or there will be Pokemon that will be traded back and forth and all that stuff. When I get to Pokemon Emerald as well, I will be trading some Pokemon that you don't normally get in Pokemon Emerald. It's going to be very, very fun. I'm just trying to figure out what the dimensions will be when I trade them both and all that stuff. And let's see. Let's go right here. And I think this guy wants to battle. He's like, even us sailors have Pokemon too. Okay. Bring it. Let's go right ahead and take on Sailor Huey. And he's coming out with his tentacle. Let's go with the Fury Attack. And just like that, Tornado is getting some more experience points. Let's go ahead and try to level this Pokemon right here. Tornado, do it. Do it again. And just like that, Staryu has been defeated. And here we go, more points. Oh, close, so close. Okay, you're not bad. Hmm, alrighty. So let's see what this item is. And that is a TM44 rest. Oh, by the way, the TM for Brick Break, it will now become more available to you once you get to sell it on City. So keep that in mind too. And, uh, oh, we got two more to battle. All right, let's go right ahead and see if we can get an evolution. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop it, chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Okay, bring it. Let's go, taking on Barney, not the dinosaur. And, oh, crap baskets, we have, uh, we got poisoned. Let's go to Smasher, and Smasher, Body Slam, there we go. And Tornado has grown to level 20. Smasher, doing her thing. Coming out with the Star U, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Leonardo right here, and go with a Mega Kick, just like that, and, well, do it again, Mega Kick. Nearly defeats Shelter, and just like that, Leonardo grows to level 25, learning Rapid Spin. And this move right here, an attack that frees the u or the user from bind wrap, leech seed, and spikes. I don't normally get a lot of leech seed or wrap, but I'll take my chances by not learning it. And there we go. Barney has been defeated. Yes! And you know what time it is. Look at that. Tornado is finally evolving. And don't worry, guys. I did capture a spare Spearow just so I can trade it for the Farfetch later on in whatever episode we like to come out with and all that crud. And, well, at level 20, Tornado has finally digivolved into Firo, a much more ferocious Pokemon right here. Tornado. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Tornado. And we gotta heal it too. So as you guys can see, Tornado, now, or still flying and normal. Look at that, it's physical attack through the roof, and then we got speed, you know, kicking some butt, taking some names and all that stuff. And, uh, well, we gotta heal up our Pokemon, and I think, oh yeah, Meowth picked up something right here. Let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see, let's go right ahead and use an antidote. Yes, I kind of overspend a little bit of money just to, just to heal up my Pokemon in this episode. And, well, we don't have any more, oh, we do have one more challenger right here. Let's go ahead and take that. We found an Aspire Berry, and... I guess it would be it wouldn't hurt to heal up our Pokemon right here just for this next battle right here. So let's go again. And there we go. Let's go ahead and use Tornado now. Matey, you're walking to plank if you lose. Holy crud. That is a that is a little scary right there. That is very scary. So here we go. Sailor Philip wants the battle. Wow, he is definitely walking the plank right here. Let's go, Firo. Peg attack. Peg attack. And just like that we win. Mm-hmm. Okay, alrighty. That was quick. Alright. So, I'm gonna fast forward to healing up our Pokemon. And we're gonna be going up to the Sega floor right here of the SSN. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys. And we're gonna be going to the second floor of the SSN. And, well, let's go to the third floor. Alright, going to the third floor right here. We're gonna go. We're gonna be going up to the outskirts of it. And you're going to be finding one more Pokemon trainer right here. Ahoy there! Are you seasick? 
Not really. Alrighty. Who's next? Sailor Trevor coming out with his uh his uh, match up. And here comes a tentacle. So let's go, Sparky. Get some revenge on these Pokemon. And just like that, we defeated Sailor Trevor. He's like, I was just careless. Yes, you were. Okay, did I say one? There might be two. And hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Taking on another sailor. His name is Edmund. And well, Peg Attack does the trick. And here comes a shelter. Let's go with Sparky right here. Thundershot for the win. And look at that. Level 21. We're taking some butts and take, taking some names right here. Alrighty. And let's see. Does this Pokemon. Does, does he want a battle? Let's see. Whew. Scrubby Next is hard work. Huh. <laughs> I feel ill. I got seasick, so I stepped out to get some air. Okay, do you want a battle? The party's over. The ship will be departing soon. How is it that we always come in so late? I don't know. All right, we're going to be going down, and here is the second floor. And I think we got a few trainers left, like this guy. I've journeyed far and wide, but I, in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. And that right there is a Snorlax. And that adds a few more pages towards our Pokedex right there. And, well, we're going to be going right here. And, yes, we're going to be taking on two more trainers, obviously, because, you know, there's an item right there. Why not? Okay, so let's go with Leonardo. And let's go. Check out what I fish up. Alrighty, who's next? Taking on Fisherman Dale. And he's coming out with his Goldeen Mega Kick for the win. And he's coming out with his Tentacool. There we go. Thundershock. There it is. And here comes a Goldeen. Let's continue this onslaught. And there we go. Confusion does not stop Sparky. It doesn't. All right. Who's next? This guy right here. Competing against the young uh, keeps me youthful. Does it? Does it really? Okay, so here we go, taking on Gentleman Brooks, and he's coming out with his Pikachu. Obviously, I'm in a disadvantage, and just like that, Mega Kick wins. I thought I was going to get paralyzed right there. I don't know. All right, let's grab this. Here we have a Stardust, which could go for a very, very good price. And, well, let's go straight into the next room right here. Talk to this guy. He's like, ah, yes, I have seen some Pokemon fair by people across the water. He's talking about Surf. Small trees can be chopped down using the move cut. But remember this: cut is a hidden uh, machine technique. Once once learned, it cannot so or it can it is not so easily discarded. Which eventually that changes in well generation two. Now here there is a person that we can actually you know eliminate that. So don't worry, guys. If you accidentally teach a Pokemon cut, don't worry. And which do you find more worthy, a strong or rare Pokemon? Can I get both? I mean, either way, you're gonna get both, right? So here we go, taking on Lamar. Coming out with his Growlithe. Here we go, water gun attack. Coming out with a Ponyta, and there we go, Leonardo. Kicking butt, taking names. 26, level 26 is always good. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and grab this item, and here we have an X attack. And we got one more trainer right here. She's like, I don't believe I saw you at the party. Well, it seems that I came in a little late. All right, so here we go. Last Dawn wants the battle coming out with her Radita. Let's go right ahead. Mega Kick for the win. Coming out with the Pikachu. Let's go ahead and go with Smasher right here. And Rock Tomb. There we go. Body Slam. And just like that, we go to level 23. Okay, and Last Dawn has been defeated. She's like, take it easy. Okay, so I just noticed something. P Puss in Boots has grabbed another item, and it's a nugget. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Puss in Boots. Thank you. Alrighty, so let's go right here, and let's go right ahead and talk to this guy, and he's like, me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. I wish I could go there again. Hmm, the Safari Zone. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? There are many kinds of rare Pokemon, which, yes, it is true, and, well, off screen, I will be capturing those, uh, those hard to catch Pokemon right there. Trust me, they're very, very hard to catch. And here we have two more people, and well, let's see. I hear many people get seasick. They do. The captain said, or the captain said he's awfully sick. He was all pale. Hmm. All pale. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I've never been into any kind of sea cruise or anything, so I wouldn't know 
my experience of how seasickness feels like. I, I kind of feel like it's more like a car sickness or something. I don't know. It could be that. I do get car sick sometimes. I don't know. Okay, so let's go right here and, well, look at this guy. Bonjour, Draven. Imagine seeing you here, Draven. Were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already got 40 kinds, Belle. Different kinds are, are everywhere. Call around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bring it on. All right. We're taking on rival Gary yet again, and he's coming out with his Pidgeotto, level 19. And, well, we got a little buffed up Sparky. Let's go with Thundershock. And this guy, again, using Quick Attack. Yeah, that's what you get. You're going to get paralyzed. So, here comes a Thundershock. For the win. Oh, crud. All right, let's go with Thundershock. Yes, I do love paralysis when it happens to them. And just like that, Pidgeotto has been defeated. And Sparky grows to level 22. Yes. And here comes Eradicate. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight for Smasher right here. All right, bring it. Okay, Smasher, meet Radicate. Radicate, why are you so under level? I do not know. And I don't know why I'd use Body Slam instead of Double Kick. Maybe because it just, it, it sounds like Body Slam. Like a WWE, and yes, this is what happens when you try and bite me. You get Poison Point. And just like that, it's getting hurt by Poison. So let's go with a Double Kick for the win. And just like that, Radicate has been defeated. Yes, again. All right, Kadabra's next. Let's go to our newest buddy right here, Puss in Boots. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Puss in Boots on my team the whole entire time, but it will come, well, it will be useful later on, I guess. All right, let's go with a bite attack right here, and here comes a Kinesis from Kadabra. This right here will lower your accuracy, so just be aware of that. Let's go right ahead, and yeah, it worked, okay. I see what you're doing right there, and here comes a Disable attack. Kadabra, stop being so mean. And there we go. Bite attack again. Here comes a disable. And just like that, it disabled my bite attack. Good gravy. Okay. Payday. Payday attacking. Oh my god. Confusion attack. Hits us hard. And here comes a payday. So I'm guaranteed a little bit of money right there. And let's go again. And oh crap baskets. Damn it. Okay. Alright, puss and boots. You're gonna get avenged. Here we go, Leonardo. And what's up? What's up? Leonardo is going to avenge you with... Not that, but here comes a bite attack for the win. And there you go, Kadabra has been defeated. What now? What now, Kadabra? And well, here comes Ivysaur. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Tornado right here. And... Tornado. Tornado is about to do some stuff right here with the Peck Attack. There we go. Look at that. We got the strongest bird type Pokemon right here. Here comes a Vine Whip, and that really doesn't do much. So here we go. Tornado, Peck Attack for the win. And just like that, Ivysaur has been bested. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Tornado grows level 21. And Gary is not too happy. He's like, <laughs> at least you're raising your Pokemon. You know, I'm flipping you off, man. Seriously, I am flipping you off, and we picked up 95 Pokemon dollars because of that payday. I heard that, or I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just some seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll come, it'll be in handy. You should go see him too. Smell you later. Flipping you off, Gary. Flipping you off. Okay, so let's go ahead and meet this Cutmaster. And as always, he's gonna be right in front of the trash can. And, well, rub his back. Ooh, I feel hideous. Ooh, see you sick. And we're rubbing his back. Rub, 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 rub. And he's like, "Whoo! Thank you. I'm feeling so much better now." You want to see my hidden uh, cut technique? I could show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know. You can have this. This is a hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon, and you can see cut anytime. And there we go, we got the HMO1 cut. Using cut kit, or using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it in, with the trees around Vermilion City? We will, and yes, I'm gonna do everything. It's a tradition right here. Yes, yuck, couldn't, shouldn't have, shouldn't have looked. Yes, I like looking at that. Ugh, Never mind. All right, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here because uh, yeah, we spent a long time right here. 
Now, what would normally be a 40 some odd minute uh, video of this, the SSN, it has been condensed down to a raw 25 minutes right here, guys. 26. And, well, just like that, the SSN is about to leave. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, 25 minutes, 25, 26, 27 minutes, and well, yes, I think I, I think I'm gonna be doing this whole you know speeding up thing while we have the chapters on the, on our on our videos. So remember again, guys, we do have chapters onto these videos. Just if you want to get to a specific point and all that crud, you know, no way am I trying to advertise for YouTube, but it's right there. So anywho, in the next episode, yes, we will be going up against Lieutenant Surge. I do not want to do the puzzle. I really don't, but I have to. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss the next episode. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the heart button's right there. And what else? Hmm. What else is there? Oh, yes. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.